Okay class, I'm back and it is now book time. I remember from this morning's message that our book for today is The Three Little Pigs. Since we are talking and focusing on our families today, I thought that we could read a book about a little pig family and see what adventures they have in this book. Our title is The Three Little Pigs. And I can tell that it's going to be about three little pigs because the picture on the front cover is showing one, two, three little pigs. And I also see that they are holding different things in their hands. So I wonder what that is about. The author of our book is Paul Galdon. And his name is right down here. This is the person who wrote the words to this story. I know a lot of you have heard the story of the three little pigs. Let's see if this book tells the story the same way that you have heard it or if it's a little bit different. Let's get started. I'm going to carefully, without accidentally ripping a page, move through. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there was an old sow with her three little pigs. She had no money to keep them, so she sent them off to seek their fortune. There's the mama pig and says that she has to send her three little pigs off to find their fortune, to seek their fortune. The first little pig met a man with a bundle of straw and said to him, please man, give me that straw to build me a house. So the man did and the little pig built his house with it. Looks like the first little pig already figured out how to build his house with straw. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Uh-oh, that wolf does not look happy. So the wolf huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in, and he ate up the first little pig. Oh no. The second little pig met a man with a bundle of sticks and said, Please, man, give me those sticks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. The second little pig is using sticks to build his house. How do you think that's going to go? Then along came the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Uh-oh, I know I've heard that before. Last time the wolf blew the straw house away. What do you think the wolf's going to do to the stick house? So he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and at last he blew the house in, and he ate up the second little pig. Second pig was eaten. Did you notice that he had to huff, and puff, and huff, and puff? That's more huffs and more puffs than it took to 
blow down the straw house. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, Please, man, give me those bricks to build me a house. So the man did, and the little pig built his house with them. The third little pig is using bricks to build his house. Soon the same wolf came along and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. My gosh, look at the house staring in through the window. That wolf looks scary. What do you think? Do you think the wolf's going to destroy this little pig's house too? Well, he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the house in. What do you think the wolf is feeling right now? His eyes look like, like he's shocked that he could not blow the house in. I wonder why he's not able to blow this house down. Why can't he blow down the brick house, do you think? At last the wolf stopped huffing and puffing and said, Little pig, I know where there is a nice field of turnips. Where, said the little pig? On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning. We will go together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. What time will you come? Oh, at six o'clock, said the wolf. Hmm. Look at the wolf's face. Something tells me that he might be up to something. Since when is a wolf going to help a pig go get some turnips? That's odd. Well, the little pig got up at five. He went to Mr. Smith's farm and got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? asked the wolf. The little pig said, ready. I have been and come back again and I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. Uh-oh. Looks like the pig got up extra early to go get turnips by himself and the wolf just got there. The pig's already cooked his dinner. The wolf was very angry. But then he thought of another way to get the little pig. So he said, little pig, I know where there is a nice apple tree. Where, said the pig. Down at Merry Garden, replied the wolf. I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow morning and we will get some apples. Hmm, now the wolf wants to help the pig get some apples. Interesting. Well, the little pig got up the next morning at four o'clock and went off for the apples. He wanted to get back home before the wolf came, but it was a long way to Merry Garden, and then he had to climb the tree. Just as he was climbing back down with his basket full of apples, he saw the wolf coming. Little pig, the wolf said, you got here before me. Are the apples nice? The third little pig is stuck in the tree now with his basket of apples. Do you think you would come down the tree if you saw this wolf? I know I wouldn't. I don't know what I would do. Yes, very, said the little pig. I will throw one down to you. And he threw the apple as far as he could throw. While the wolf ran to pick it up, the little pig jumped down and ran home. <gasps> The next day, the wolf came again and said to the little pig, Little pig, there is a fair 
at Shanklin this afternoon. Would you like to go? Oh, yes, said the little pig. When will you come to get me? At three, said the wolf. Now he's inviting him to a fair. Do you think he would trust the wolf at this point? Do you think he's telling the truth about just wanting to take him to the fair? Well, the little pig went off at two o'clock and bought a butter churn at the fair. He was going home with it when he saw the wolf coming. The little pig jumped into the butter churn to hide. The churn fell over and rolled down the hill with the little pig in it. This frightened the wolf so much that he turned around and ran home. My goodness, look at that. This is used to make butter, like the butter that we cook with. And the pig jumped inside it to hide from the wolf and he ended up rolling down the hill and scaring the wolf. You see, it looks like he's running away. Later, the wolf went to the little pig's house and told him what had happened. A great round thing came rolling down the hill right at me, the wolf said. Ha! I frightened you then, said the little pig. I went to the fair and bought a butter churn. When I saw you, I got into it and rolled down the hill. The wolf was very angry indeed. I'm going to climb down your chimney and eat you up, he said. When the little pig heard the wolf on the roof, when the little pig heard the wolf on the roof, he hung a pot full of water in the fireplace. Then he built a blazing fire. Just as the wolf was climbing down the chimney, the little pig took the cover off the pot and in fell the wolf. The little pig quickly put on the cover again, boiled up the wolf, and ate him for supper. Oh my goodness. This whole time the wolf has been trying to eat up the little pig, and then what happened? Yeah, the wolf ends up getting eaten by the little pig. Who would have thought? And the little pig lived happily ever afterward. There's the third little pig living his happy life since he did not get eaten by the wolf. What did you think about this version of the three little pigs? Did you like it? Was it similar to the story that you have heard or a little bit different? Interesting. I hope you enjoyed our story on this little pig family. I will see you tomorrow.